what's up guys it's your boy Shea here from Porsche the bros today we're playing some Forza Horizon 4 I just wanted to have a look at the 98 1J 2J uh, Toyota Supra and you know just buy it, tune him up and see how much power we can get out of it I went to the auction house and I saw it I went actually to the auto show and I saw it was actually going for 220,000 credits I was like so it's quite a bird but I mean it's not a lot that's fine it's like you know what maybe we can get a better deal at the auction house so I just came over to the auction house and auction house and seen a few I mean there's this one in 423 basically we have to put 136,000 for okay now it's already gone nevertheless we'll see maybe we can get another one okay there's this one here 110,000 so ending soon I'm sure we can get this one here let's put 110 cool cool Okay, yeah, cool. We successfully, but now we just have to wait, I guess. <clears throat> the, auction, uh, the auction house is actually a great place to buy cars from. I mean, you can literally get them for next to nothing compared to what you get them on an auto show, and they're technically basically the same cars. Like, no difference. It's uh, really cool, hey. The only disadvantage to auction house, is auction house is that uh, if you buy a car that's customized by some other uh, player, uh, if you go and want to adjust, let's say the painting and stuff, or I think if you'd like to tune it, uh, all of that gets uh, reset, uh, reset to default. So you have to start from scratch. You basically lose all of that value of the car. And it starts from scratch, like stock, bone stock. But in my plan was to actually just buy, even if I had to buy one of those customized ones, would be, I'd still tune it anyways. How oh, great we won this one, yeah. So I literally got it at the 50% discount. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm. Alright, let's claim our car. <coughs> let's get working. Time to go select the car. Let's go. Toyota Supra. There we go. It's great that um, it's actually been added to Forza. It's been a while. I always wondered when they would have added it to Forza and it's great now that they added it and they finally realized that it's a freaking um, amazing car. Okay, let us go tune him up. So my goal is to keep it stock 1J, 2J, I'm not sure which one is in the car at the moment, the engine. I think it's a 2J. And we're not gonna, we're gonna leave it rear wheel drive, we're just gonna add our single turbo, you know big power and we just customize our intake fuel system we're gonna go fully upgraded on a stock engine well the base engine will go fully upgraded and working our way through valves engine block pistons yeah double charger race turbo Just look at it, power curve. Looks it looking great, looking great. Cool, now we go into our braking system. Upgrade our brakes. Bigger brakes, drop our car. Looking neat. Roll bars, stability, you know. Um your roll bars. Cool. Our roll cage. And weight reduction. Reduce the chassis weight. And let's go over to our drive train. And we want that awesome race clutch. Quick shift race transmission. Mm. Say weightless or a weight reduction drive line. And our duffs. It's a two way duff, I think would be better. Limited slip. Now for our tire compound, 
Mm, I think I'll just put the, the direct eye compound for now. We'll see how the car handles and stuff. And I mean, our actual goal is not to, to drag out the car, it's mainly drafting, but we'll see. We'll come back to that afterwards. We want them to have wide, they want them to be extremely wide in the fronts, like really wide. And the same for the rears, you know, get more of it, uh, full contact with the road surface, extra handling and stuff, not wheels ish. We'll see what kind of wheels we can put. Mm, uh, nope. Let's see. Looking for a wheel that's not really too spoky. Like spokes, minimum spokes. And must look great. Like has a bit of a dub to it. Uh, these ones look fine, but let's see what we can get. I mean, we're not gonna keep it that color either way. Uh, let us see what we can get. Yeah, some great wheels here. It would look good on the car, though. Mm. OZ. Mm. Ah, this one's not too good. Mm. What an RB. No. TSW. No, I know this. With too much spokes. It's too chrome. This will look fine, but nah. Hmm. These ones look good. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with these ones. Yeah. Go with these ones. Yeah. We already got our wheels. <sighs> Let's increase the size. We want 19s in the fronts and 19s in the rears. Yeah. Let's add some track width to the car. The front's full track width. And it gives us a better ending on the car. Same for the rears. Full track what? Looks great. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, here's the best part. Front bumper. Arrow, some arrow on the car. This looks looks good, eh? Hey? But nah, nah, there's no. Won't really look that good. I think this looks good. Let's see. This looks great. I like that. Uh, Scoops on the pump at the bottom there, like the air duct looks great. The wing, mm. we'll go with. Uh, I think we'll go with this one, yeah, yeah. Like, right on it doesn't look suitable. I think this is great. The rear bumper, nah, that 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 ain't nice at all. Um, this one, yeah. this one yeah mm. I think we go with the dry bumper maybe yeah dry bumper and it's for our side skirts for our side skirts to match up with our front and rear bumpers I think the best one would be our Bomex see this one yeah Bomex looks great Okay, cool. And the hood will go with the vented hood. Street hood. Yeah, perfect. Mm. Maybe later down the line we'll increase the engine. We'll change, we'll swap out the engine or something for maybe the V12 or something. But for now, we want to keep it stock. 1J, 2J. That's it. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Finish make our purchases. Let's get let's get some paint job done. Designs and paints. Yeah. Paint core. Yeah, whatever.
right, you're right. Mm, let's do full body paint. You want a special go? Oh, this looks great. This looks great. Nah, the red now. Nah. This matte red and semi gloss. Mm, I think we go. What colors can we go with? Let's see what they have. Special colors. That carbon looks cool. Still galvanized. Looks lovely. Now, plus. Nope. I think let's go with the semi gloss red. This looks great. No, um, we'll not change it on with color. Make our, our side matters black, you know, to match up with our wheels. Yeah. I think I'll make it matte black. If I could find it. But uh, maybe later we'll change it. But I will just make it black for now. Or we'll wheels to make it proper black. Gloss black. No oh, man. Gloss black, yeah. And darken our windscreen. <laughs> Guys, looking lovely. Hmm. Get driving. Give him some rubs. This marker. Let's go give it a test. I <laughs> actually want to tune the car later. Adjusting our gearing so we can get a uh, nice top speed because the car has acceleration. Just gonna adjust it. What can we get here? Uh, 440.3. Wow, that's great. And then let's get some of our acceleration back. We make it 440.0 because it's pointless making it to 272. I'm sure we can get it to 280 something. Perfect, 287. So we got a top speed of 440. This thing is just madness. <clears throat> I actually want to test the handling to see how it drives. Well, alright, guys, I think that's the end of this video. <clears throat> no. And now, uh, just stay tuned. Please like, subscribe, and share with your content. Let me know if you'd like to see more of this in the comments below. And uh, next video will be Turn actually around. testing the car on the deck. So. And proper test trip, and we will be seeing the handling if it's great or not, and do some adjustments to that. But uh, peace out.